Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. This is the Wild Up Boys, this is the Wild Up Podcast, another episode. Uh, before we start this episode, we'd just like to say, this is the beginning of the year, 2019. It's our first show of the year. 2019 has been great, and just to also point out, we finished the first season. This is the second season. Hey, Nana Komi, say hello to everyone, say so they know what we're doing. People already know you already, okay. because they've so been hello. here with us. You know, since, you know, you're the one telling me what to say and what to do. Oh, sorry, I didn't hello. tell you to say, I'm not telling you to say Well, anything. you just said, say I just said say hi to the people, our people. Yeah, our people, they, 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 we've welcomed them to listen to us, so we yeah, have to say so, hi to them. So I'm, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying hi. hello. Okay, so yeah, you yeah. say hello too. Is that yeah. how you say hello in, in Ghana? I don't understand. If that's how you say hello in Ghana, then that's fine. I'm, I'm just saying. What has that got to do with the country anyway? Like, <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the country. I apologize. <laughs> it's, it's got everything to do with you from that's the okay. country. Yeah, but I, you know, I can come from there, but that doesn't, what doesn't mean what I do is is from there. Yes. Oh, okay. So Nana, this is how you say hi. Nana from Ghana, this is how he says hi. It doesn't mean that's how everybody in Ghana says hi. This is what this guy is telling me. Okay. But what we did today, Nana, what we did? Uh, look, I just, uh, today we're just going to talk about, as I said, like the video vaccine issue and um, how many, like why it's becoming, a, a no, it's becoming almost normalized. Like all these girls are, it seems like that's their, their aim now. It doesn't matter whether they're educated or not. It seems like their whole aim in life is to get into some video or just be popular for being popular sake. Well, hold on. You video eviction has been around since whenever. Like, this is uh, what they've been doing before in no, Africa. No, no. Like, no, so in, Africa, in Africa. Like, this is what they've been doing before in, 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 in the other part of the world. Yeah, so, but what has that got to do with us? Because the Afrobeat is just getting big now. So, know, obviously, but, the, other, in, the other part of the industry to Afrobeat is also going to get bigger. So, if there were no videos before, which there were not a lot of them, and before the videos we do, in terms of music videos, are usually just on stage, or it's like yeah, but, just but, guys. But, and but, but, well, video vixens have always been in our videos, actually. No, it's just but, it's just but, backup singers. That's yeah, what we know them no, as. But as I said, this we, we, what, we, what I'm talking about. Is, I know it's know, not video vixen, is it? No, like, this is a difference between just happening to be in a video, and, and, no, or even yeah. just happening to be in a video. I know, and yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Before, like, before even get there, right? Yeah, because I'm talking about how indecently they have to dress and how you know they have to they are almost portrayed or over sexualized nowadays and know in there and i said it was uh, an american no, hip-hop video no, i get the, it because the, that's what became the, the very thing. definition of video vixen is sexualized of, content but that's why i said that i don't understand why these girls want to you know do that especially even those who die you know seem to be a bit educated and stuff but before we actually go there right okay i just wanted to you know kind of as they say, kind of give us give us something low, a little light hearted, right? So this sixteen year old, okay, in no, Zambia, light hearted, like light hearted, like yeah. pour your heart out, but no, in a very light no, just, way. Just just basically enjoying a little. Ah, bit of I got you, got you, got you, got you. Go ahead, go ahead. So this sixteen year old, yeah, you know, and her twenty eight year old aunt, okay, were walking in front of um, a police station in Zambia. Cool, and the girl has been arrested, and she's actually spent two weeks. In, in a cell or whatever you want to call it, Wait, they were for wearing a mini skirt. It was a joyful moment for sixteen-year-old girl and her twenty-eight-year-old auntie. After spending their Christmas and New Year in police custody, the state finally enters a nolle prosequi in the matter in which the duo stands charged with idle and disorderly conduct, and also conduct likely to breach the peace of other persons. I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to react to that. Yeah, like, hold on. Either. So so they were walking in front of a police station, right? And then the police happened to catch her away in Miniskit. Yeah, and then they, because, they arrested her on the spot. Yeah. And they made her spend two weeks in jail. Yeah. Now, so they, they, they accused are they her. saying that she's going to stop wearing miniskirt because she spent two weeks in jail? Or? Wait, well, it's up to her if she wants to spend more time in jail. That's true. That's she's an <laughs> She's not an adult. She's sixteen. She can't even vote. Anyway. She's, she's not a an adult. Yeah, she's, she's so, no, why, she's 16, so, yeah. so, so why arrest her? Why not arrest the auntie? The adult walking well, next to her. The point is, that this is what happened, right? She was walking around with her auntie. The policeman well, in front of the police station. The policeman was saying, asked her why is she wearing um, a mini skirt, and now they are accusing of conduct. And what was it called? And the auntie started being like. Yeah what, yeah, what kind of thing? Like, why would you ask that kind of question? But the point is, they've been arrested, they've been accused, or been charged. Wait, wait, hold with... on. So, so, so the auntie basically got out and said, "Why, why would you want to arrest my daughter? Uh, sorry, my my niece because of what? I don't understand. So, the, where are you getting the story from? Hmm? 
No, this is from the BBC anyway. I didn't make this an app. Uh, it looks like you make it up. I mean, they walk no, past the police station. The, okay, that's what happened, right? They walk past the police station. Yeah. The policeman stops them, says the skirt is too short. Too short. The auntie gets emotional and says, that why is it that other people are wearing similar skirts around? Why is the man just picking on the girl? Now, the policeman thinking his authority is being you know, challenged, arrest them, and they're being charged with, you know, uh, what's it called? Social misconduct. Um, no, um, breaching the peace. Breaching the peace. What peace are they bridging? Like, well, she's wearing a mini skirt. She's, just, she's disturbing the peace between people's legs. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, so the police officers, uh huh, was uh, uh, I was uh, doing some uh, mountain climbing. <laughs> but but the point is, it's, it's absurd anyway. No, it is, and, it, and I don't think you see like the, the headline is a bit uh, more misleading because it makes it sound like oh she got arrested just for wearing the mini skirt. She got arrested no, no. just for wearing the mini skirt. No, she the got the arrested for is the reason why they had. Uh, uh, they had a conversation inter- yes. that looks like an argument that leads to arrest. Him. <laughs> okay, but, but it's, it's she got arrested but, because of the mini skirt. And but the thing is, in Zambia, it's not. It seems like you know, it's it's viable because if you think about it, it's the same place that um, what that girl, the girl from South Africa, what's her name? Anyway? Shingo. So no, Sojo or whatever it is, that she dances a certain way. She was yeah, banned that, from coming into the country to even perform. Yeah, but that 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 was um um. Yeah, she's just a dancer. She's a stripper. <laughs> uh, and, she and, said dancer. And people, you know what strippers do. Again, if she you don't said know dancer. what strippers do, we go. We would, you will see it. You <laughs> should see it. Go on YouTube. You find out. Like this lady, although she danced well, I'm not going to say anything other than that. I, I haven't really seen her dance. I just yeah, she got say. banned anyway. Yeah, but she got banned entering the country. That makes sense. But arresting a teenage girl for wearing miniskirt. I don't understand what was going on there. Like, I really don't get it. Why would you? Yeah, see, she's called to... Zoja. Zoja Wambut, Wambantu. Wambantu. So Z O D W A, Wambantu. We'll put it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. And she got banned from coming into Zambia. She got banned from coming into Zambia because she's a stripper. Like, they, they don't, say, have, they don't have strippers in Ghana. Uh, sorry, Zambia. Well, you see, you just a hater. Oh, see, yeah. How does Z and G even sound alike? Yeah, well. Yeah, that that part you call me on that one. <laughs> you call me on that one. You, you call me on that one. You call me on that one. But that that's not me hating. That's me appreciating. They have strippers in Ghana. They have strippers in Zambia. They even have strippers in Nigeria. I I, I, um, I don't know where these strippers are, people. I've never sampled any of these strippers in any of these countries. Okay, so don't don't think I'm <laughs> an expert. Sampled, you know. <laughs> Don't think I'm an expert. I'm just saying. Strippers are everywhere. And for Zambia to ban this lady from coming in from South Africa, it's almost like they think they're a Christian nation or something. Come on now. I, I mean, well, look, they, they, they have some laws against, you know, all these kind of stuff anyway. So they're a bit against um, the way how people dress and if they think it's indecent and stuff like that, then it becomes problematic for them. Yeah, but then arresting uh, a teenage girl because um, she's um, wearing a miniskirt, I don't understand where that comes from because I'm sure in the country everyone is wearing miniskirt. Not everyone, most people. Some, some that like you don't go around arresting everyone that you see wearing miniskirt, do you? So why would you arrest this girl? It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't yeah, make that, any no, sense. No, but that's what, that, it didn't start with an arrest. It was started with a warning that you don't dress like that. Yeah, you and don't tell. She, you could talk to the parents or you talk to the auntie saying, you know, this is what's happening, but you don't go on saying that. You don't dress like that. You're a police officer. You know, you know, like, as long as you're not working naked for indecent, in, because that's indecent, right? That's indecent behavior. You're not working naked, you're wearing clothes. If if your manhood is dancing in your pants, that's 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 your business. That's not a girl's well, business. I, I didn't say that. But see, the, the thing is, what you have to understand, again, I, I'm not condoning what happened there anyway. Even though I still think some people have to dress decently and you can't just walk around dressing anyhow you want. You know, that is if, true. If, if you're part of a society, that is true. You know, but the point I'm trying to make is this: there's a saying that you know, if you know how to talk, yeah, you can actually you know, talk your way out of almost a- anything. Yeah, right. So if even if he said something you did you disagreed, that was not the point. Well, I don't think that was the right place to address that. No, no, you're right. It wasn't. But at the end of the day, he's a police officer. He's meant to keep the law. That is not a girl breaking the law. That is literally a girl dressing indecently, if you want to say that. But she's not breaking any law. She absolutely isn't breaking any law. So why would you want to arrest a girl like that? Come on. Like, 
seriously, don't you have other like the the the, the thieves out here, the 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 people doing fighting each other out here? There's a lot of stuff you could do that arrest a, a girl wearing miniskirt. Come on, people. Like, look, of course there is, but the point is, as I said, that was not the right place to try and you know address that. And then the auntie getting on a high horse talking about you know how not behaving or behaving properly. That's uh, I mean the girl dressing or not dressing. All right, that's that's. That's something else as well. Like, why would you want to get involved in all that kind of stuff? Why would you want to do that? You should just basically say, okay, cool, I understand, but this is how my girl wants to dress, and that's it. This is how my niece wants to dress, and that's it. But, anyways, that doesn't seem interesting to me. To, 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 like, that is something that no, we no, should never not, take any not. interest in. That's <laughs> like just saying, like, look, look, um, police officer I think is doing his job, so he did it. Auntie thinks she's, she's a police officer. She's not be telling her niece what to do, so she but fought for it. But then it had... Ha- ha- yeah, that's causing this whole trouble as well. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. something under the mini skirt. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's something under that mini skirt. <laughs> At the end of the day, it is what it is. Don't go to Zambia dressing anyhow, because uh, if you do that as a woman, <laughs> you might get end up in jail. It can land you in jail that you will stay there for two weeks. The girl stayed in jail for two weeks. Yeah. For two weeks, for wearing miniskirt. Well, <laughs> for wearing miniskirt. For well, not for wearing miniskirt, for challenging the For wearing miniskirt. Nah, nah, don't say challenge. Challenge. Where did the challenge come from if it's not because she wore miniskirt? She wore miniskirt and then she got, she challenged, she challenged an authority and then she go, I mean, yeah. a day will have done the job. <laughs> two well, maybe, weeks. Maybe she kept challenging it. <laughs> two weeks, come on. And maybe, you don't know what the auntie did as well. You know, like at times, you know, when, like, you know, you get into, you know, yeah. you don't want to fight, right? Yeah. Somebody's getting, a, and your boy's going, oh, you're going to let him talk to you like that? I, I, <laughs> and then you ended up being uh, getting your ass on. Hold up. Well, this then this brings a question. Though. This this brings a question of have we changed the way we dress in Africa? Like well, the way women dress in Africa. That that brings a question course, because and, and, if a police officer is arresting it, what you would say because of a lot of other things. But uh, it starts with the miniskirt. No, no. But that's what I'm saying. A lot of things have changed because even look at um, Diamond Platinum, right? From Tanzania, yeah. right? He also had another issue as well. He had issues with even well what he did. He he had an Instagram video yeah. where he was kissing a girl. That became an issue. He had a song. Since when is when is kissing a girl an issue? Like they kiss a girl in music videos all the time. How is that an issue? So because he's on Instagram and he's kissing a girl, all of a sudden it's a big issue. Since when is kissing a girl an issue? So when you're acting, when they when they do movies, African movies, and they kiss each other, that's not. That's a good question. Did they kiss you? They, they, they do kiss each other in African yeah, but, but, movies. Yeah, but when they do that, it's you know it's a movie. Because you know the movie. This guy was on his Instagram, so people think it's real. Yep. And it looked like they were it's actually ki- gonna. Is he an adult? Were actually, you know. Is he an adult? adult yeah. It, it looked like they were actually gonna do the the do. Yeah, but he's an adult, right? If he's yeah, an adult and he's doing that, nobody cares whether he's an he's an adult or not. The point is, look, they live in a country whereby you know you can get issues for some of these things, right? Yeah. Look, one of his songs, right? You know, he got banned in December and he had to now apologize and all these other So he couldn't perform. Why? Why couldn't he not perform? Because he had a song that the authorities in Tanzania are saying is sexually suggestive. Like the way the lyrics go and all this other stuff. Right. It's a song. Imagine imagine like something like It's a song. Must be your body. Yeah. That kind of. I need a tip, I, I know the song, I know the song. People, again, I don't know the song. I've heard of the song. <laughs> I've heard of the song, right? I don't know the song. Okay. Instead of this guy singing about African Queen, eh? he's singing about something that they. they yeah, they, it's not sexually, everyone nah, nah, that can either. sing African Queen. Some people sing African Queen, some people sing tip, tip drill. It's just the way well, of the world. Yeah, well, then we you get know, different then varieties. Then you go to the US and do that then. No, 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 no. We're doing it Tanzanian style. No, they told him he can't perform that song anymore. And he did. Okay, that's that's and the, they banned uh, him. Yeah, and but that's, they, that, they banned him. Then that's the right thing to do because they told you you can't perform the song, and you went ahead and performed the song. The they didn't say you didn't. People you. didn't like the song. So that's the, that's the key no, no, I bet that that song you probably went platinum on that song <laughs> because it's one of those ones where everybody watch porn, but no one will admit that they watch porn. You see, and the thing they're saying, you know, the song, with the, the word in the song, right? Um, it's a Swahili word that means horny, and the dancers in the. In the in the video, I seen similarity. So it reminds me of um, there was a Ghanaian song called uh, what was it called One Corner. <laughs> last, last year there was a Ghanaian song called One Corner. Anyway. But a guy called Patapa, he changed his name to Patapizi. Yeah. Okay. And what, what what's going on there? Like like uh, it makes any difference? Hey, it's like it's like Diddy. Himself, Diddy. Yeah. Uh, Puff Daddy. No, Puff. it's Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
You keep changing names. You don't understand what to call you anymore. Yeah, he's got himself at a PZ now. Okay, and that song was, was huge. Yeah, but what, what, even I know that, like, when you say one corner, I already knew what <laughs> you were And you saw the dance. Yeah. Yeah, but they didn't ban him from performing the song. Yeah, but they don't care like that. Because we've got even worse songs than that. So, but Tanzania is like the moral high places uh, hey. in terms of country I mean, that think about morally Zambia is, sound. You know, then if Zambia is banning you from wearing mini skirts, maybe, you know. Zambia is not banning anyone from wearing mini skirts. Where did the girl spend two years? Two, two, two years weeks. for wearing... Nah, nah, be very careful, okay? <laughs> <laughs> two years in jail for wearing mini skirts. That'll be the story of the century. <laughs> That'll be the story of the century. You spent two years in jail for wearing mini skirts. Come on, be... That'll be the biggest deterrent. <laughs> No, no, but that, that was two weeks. But look, the point is this, yeah. I don't know it seems like that was a, like... No, no, but what it, I'm it, saying It's bringing is, me back to what no, I'm but, trying but, to but say, But right? think about this. No, before you go any further. So that means, in terms of the way women dress in Africa, it's changed a lot. A know, lot! Point. Like and that's the point I'm trying to make. But I don't... Would you say... I don't think you would say look, it's changed a lot. It, it is a lot. Look, I'll tell you something here. There's this girl now, right, um, who claims... Or well, being hyped as a girl with the biggest hips and bum, right? Yeah, you in, mean Shingles? No, 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 no. I keep I'm, saying no, her name. Shingles is not... Because like, she's, she's, she's got the She's got the... She's got the... She's got the... The waist that yeah. looks like she's... A waist about to break if you just... He, he called like, it Tapoli. You know, like, we got this thing that we used to grind, you know, yeah. stuff. Right. And yeah, but... But, but, but all right, look. African women have always had that body. Like, you know, yeah, the I know, no, body. But, where but that, but I'm not, it's just that our, our grandmas, our, like what we call grandmas now, because their days, they used to hide it in one of those uh, African yeah, ways where they that, only you know, wear the, because, the rapper, they tie they around their waist and all that stuff. It's up for your husband or your partner to see those kind of stuff. Oh. They need to walk around like that. But so this you, girl, you saying, you know, this okay. girl, we, they claim it has the biggest hips or whatever it is, right? Yeah. And... If the first video she did, or at least the first video I remember her from, okay, was a song by Castro, right? Yeah. And in there, she's, she dressed nicely, in traditional clothes, dancing. And you don't see anything. Yeah. And the next video you see her in, it's all about her bum. Now she, she's on YouTube being interviewed, right? And if you look at a video, okay, all this girl has got is just, they're just walking around, showing, you know. And she's wearing this tight stuff, and all you see is her bum. Okay, that looks bad. And it, that look, that looks bad, people. I'm like, looking at it. Well, well, why do you? Why I don't do you know because uh, I'm not saying it looks bad. As in, uh, okay, I, I I don't know my reaction to this. <laughs> I really can't see it. <laughs> like, uh, you will see it. You 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 see it yourself, people. Just just yeah, have no. a look at this and ooh, look, uh, okay. Could, I don't know what to say. Like, look, when you go uh, to you, you know, when you go well, to YouTube, look, you can type in you know. Video Vix in Ghana, and then you see it anyway. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, they, the video Vix with the biggest hip or whatever it is. No, the point I'm trying but, to make but, with that. Look, there's big ass, and there's ass. Okay, like, there's <laughs> like, like there's, there's like this is I don't even know what this. This is borderline, like you know your mama, like you know like <laughs> you see you see mama in the house and. She's got that big. You don't look at it as that sexual. You look at it as like, like yeah, well, look, that's just big mama house. Yeah, yeah my, my exactly, my house. exactly. Because we we are as the African woman. Yeah, but this, I mean, but this one, but this one, like yeah, well, it looks good. It looks. I'm like, I don't think it looks good. Anyway. No, it doesn't no, no, look good. Some man. some some angle looks good. No, it does not. Some angle good. doesn't. Some it angle does looks not good. Look good at all. And this, this is look at that guy. Look at the way the guy just twisting his hair like that. Yeah, but it's just you know people. The guy, the guy, a lot of chaos, you know, commenting on your body. Look. Let me put it this way. What are you trying to say about a lot of chaos people? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Let like this slide. Let no, slide. I'm not going to let it slide because <laughs> you just... You say, like, I mean, look at this. Of course. Look, look at that guy. All right, that's that a lot, la- that, 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 that that a lot of lactose. Like, you know yeah, what they call that? Cellulite. Cellulite. That's what it... That, 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 see, that's it too much. That's too much. But some people, some people like that. Nobody likes this. This, oh, this, come on, this people. bomb don't look okay, right. Okay, like, it's the angle. <laughs> It's a camera show. It's the angle. They don't get it right. It's the ball. No, no, no. It's the, they don't get it right. It's the angle. It's the angle. The guy, the, the guy, the guy's not getting it right. It's absolutely not getting it right. All, all I'm trying to tell you is this. Yeah. And that's the moment. And, and the mom is like, oh, we, it runs in the family and what's not right. And the mom oh, wait, shows what? her, Of course it runs in the family. Where would she get it from? She, Where would she get it from? Of course it, it runs in the family. She got it from her mama. Yeah, she got it from her mama. <laughs> The yeah, mom's gonna turn around anyway to show you like what she's what she's packing as well. I'm like, what, what's up with this anyway? Okay, mommy, sit down. <laughs> that that is, no one need to be seeing that, mommy. <laughs> okay. Apart from your husband, 
Like, it's see, your daughter's day, right? It's your daughter's turn now. No one needs to be saying that. It's ridiculous. And look, that that's her. Yeah. In there. And that's what I'm trying to say. You look at her that and it's not sexualized, it's not it's nothing of that nature. She's well dressed in the traditional way, she's dancing. It's all beautiful. And now you're walking around in, you know, in shops and people are just, you know. And it's look, this is the point I'm trying to make, right? This girl works for an insurance company. Yep. Okay. She's been to your school. Yep. And you know what she, her her dream is? To be a video vixen. To be in sax video. And I'm like, are you how 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 yeah, go on. I'm trying to find the right words to use. Yeah. So that so that people don't I, I don't like people don't think I'm just, you know people already an, think an you are just you for, know for you know. But it, it's ridiculous. If no, no, yeah. it, everybody has a dream, right? Of course. I'm not saying no. Everybody, everybody have dreams, not just a dream. <laughs> okay. So she she have dreams probably to finish school. She's done that. Okay. I don't even know if that's her dream. Maybe that's her mom's and dad's dream. Well, she's she's working and yeah, she's know. working and she wants to be in Sakoda's video. What's wrong with that? That's one of her dreams. Now her sack has to do because she's on YouTube. Her sack has to do sack. If you're listening to this, okay. Give her we a job. Have a lady here. That <laughs> whole she wants to do. She don't even care what role she plays in your video. It could be the sister or the auntie that's cooking in the kitchen as long as she can show her botox. She wants to be in the video. Sack. Mm-hmm. Just give her a chance, okay? She's from, uh, where do you call her that she's from? Uh, no, no. Where, where is she from? She's well, she's from, Ghana, uh, no, yeah. she's Ghanaian. She's ah. Ghanaian, no. she's in Ghana. No. She's this, Ghana. That vi- she was in Castro's video. She was in um, Guru's video and, you know. Castro? So, yeah. The guy that uh, yeah. went with the water. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. No. The guy that went with the water, like, he went with the water, like the, the pastor said he, he could bring him back. Well, no, well, now the pastor was um, a juju man anyway, and he yeah. nearly drowned, in the, and he had to be saved. <laughs> All I'm saying is this here. I mean, look at this nonsense, right? Look, look at this nonsense that the BBC is actually, you know, um, what's it called? Showing. Right? Yeah. And if you look at it, okay, you got girls, right? That Their entire aim. These girls are moving from the villages. They're spending money on photo shoots. They're spending uh, money on makeup and all these things in hope that, you know, they go and meet What's that they call? Mr. Sugar Wright. Daddy. No, Mr. Wright. What, what are they going to do with Mr. Wright? Now, Mr. Wright, they go chop. Maybe Mr. Wright, where they go chop anyway. Go half naked, you know, to attract the rich boys in town, you know, and to get whatever she want to get. Another day, these girls are turning up in these bars, and all they're trying to do is find a man that will look after them. Okay. okay. And it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but I, I know what you're saying. But what I'm saying is, uh, I'm not saying it look. yet, but I'm going to say it now. What I'm what, what it is is this girls, right? Look, in the days of Vito Vixen, the Vito Vito Vixen it was it was not made by Africans. It's just it's, if you have a video yeah, but, 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 and you need girls, there are women that are willing and happy to become one of those girls. Most of them are just classy women that has a role to play. Most of them ready to show off their figure. So if that is what's happening. And in Afrobeat that we know of today, and Afrobeat is also in, like is rapidly growing. I know, but why we, we would picking? have girls, women that and Af- no, no. an African woman has the figure. They call it figure eight. Most what, what, African what women has that we, figure. Why are we, you know, taking the bad aspect of a culture? No, it's not about and adding no. it to our own. It is bad. It's not about a bad culture. Okay. Nah, nah. Would you would you would you let your girlfriend be doing that, or would you that's let your wife be doing question. that? Oh, that's a different question. that's that's if my girlfriend. Would you hear, would you hear your daughter do that? Uh, don't personalize this, okay? Like, like, if well, that's you, the only you, way it can if, go now. If you want to personalize it, I would to... answer you personally. <laughs> I would tell you this, right? I would, might not, definitely <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> like, uh, do <laughs> let 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 my daughter do that. My girlfriend, uh, yeah. Well, if I met my girlfriend as a video vixen, uh, what do I expect? I can't just tell her to quit her job. <laughs> that is a job. But, but see, for my wife, uh, they won't even get there. I like, would have discussed this before. No, no, but, like, it, but my point is, Afrobeat itself is big, okay. And if we're talking about video vixen, video vixens comes with this thing. It's not a culture that we've taken bad things out of. This is. Yeah, but it's as not, long no, but, as their video no, but music, music, music videos classy. to be made. But what I'm saying, it's not even classy. If you look at, you know, what, Techno Spanner, right? Oh, that was classy. That, that's a, it's classy. That's a, cl- uh, that's a uh, yeah. If you look at the videos, if... you won't be cassava. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I mean, if it was Tanzania, they won't let him even, you know, release that song anyway. 
Because what's that big cassava he's talking about? It's cassava. You grow cassava, so the cassava is big. <laughs> what, what else can he be talking about? <laughs> what else can he be talking about? Come on, think about it. What do you say? I should think about it. You are the one I should be thinking about. I already know is it's it, big cassava. If you want cassava, I got big cassava. You didn't they? The guy is a farmer, okay? And he's farming, his uh, uh, harvest for his farm, what well, is farmed is his cassava. And the harvest time comes. He harvests the cassava, and they say, big cassava. And they sing a song about the cassava being big. And you're telling me they will not let him here in Tanzania. Then Tanzania should keep their country. Because <laughs> all he's saying is, I'm a farmer, and you want big cassava. <laughs> I got big cassava. Eh? Yeah, exactly. Look, I've got big cassava. And if you watch even Davido's If, yeah, right. If you look at Davido's If, it's done classy. Yeah. It's not trashy. Yeah. You're not there. You saw the video I showed you of the girl. Yeah. No, 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 no. You, you've got a point. You've got a point. And it's the same girl that was in another video that I was saying that she looked classy in. You've got a point. So you didn't need. You don't need to be. You can no, be in the no, videos, no, no, but you no, don't no, have no, to no, be in the no, videos no, that way. No, That's what I'm trying to no, say. No, no. It's not what. Well, the girl chose to do it, but also it down to the producers and the, uh, the directors of the videos. Okay, forget the producer. producer yeah, of course, but they can't force you to do it. Yeah, the girl so happily talking, it's, it's wants a, of to course. do it. Of course, she's I'm, not being no, forced I'm to not, do anything. And that's, and that's like, the point I'm trying to make. That she's when happily become, doing look, this. Look, I remember those days here yeah, where you know, girls. You know, like I. I don't even want to go to the African Queen days where you saw the women in the video. Yeah, but let's be honest, like I'm African not... Queen, uh, that video could have been done a lot better. So like, that's not even that video anyway. Yeah, I mean African that's Queen. Of course, face. we know it's two faced, but the video could have been done a lot better. It's not that video that's singing. Mm. Of course, that video probably was still wearing dappers back then. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's not talk about I mean, that. that. It's not that young. Yeah, African Queen was done in. Uh, oh yeah, okay, maybe it wasn't wearing va- va- pampers, but it was. Yeah, it's it probably was still because he probably wasn't able to even talk back then. That video is only 20 something, right? It's not. That video is, it's not. The video is not over 30. That video is 24, 25. If I'm not mistaken. Look, all I'm trying to say is this, right? People, if I'm mistaken, put it in the comment there. Correct if, me. If, if, if you look at the video, yeah. right? And even though you, in, some, in some part of it, in the if video anyway, see the girl dressed a bit sexy and those kind of stuff. It's not trashy. Yeah. You understand the point I'm trying to make? It's not looking like, you know, ooh, it's because I've got big breasts, therefore here am I. Blah, 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 big bum. You, know, you understand the point I'm trying to make? And the point, it leads to one thing I'm trying it's to a say. a role. You have a role to play just like a movie is. You have a role to play in a video. If the song is talking about a classic girl, so you will come and play a classic girl role. If the song is talking about a girl dancing in the club, now nah, nah, you don't see a classic girl dancing on the club, on the ground floor of the club anyhow. And <laughs> if you are not that girl, and that's not the role we're asking you to do, why are you coming on set? This girl showed... We'll put the video up, people. You can see it yourself. This girl shows her buttocks because she's advertising. <laughs> if you need a video vixen that has this kind of figure that 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 that, that, that you need with this kind of figure, I'm the girl for you. She's advertising. Look, look. We, like, let me put it this way. Again, it goes back to some of the things I, I also keep saying, right? And it's like the older people in our country as well. Yeah, you know, because all these. I don't know what maybe this this is this been happening since forever anyway. Yeah. But again, it's what the girls talk about. And again, I was using that girl, Rosamond Brown or whatever, that Captain Polo girl. This girl, I was watching her interview and she's talking about when she was sixteen. Yeah. Then apparently she has been kicked out of school for school fees or whatever. Then she meets a man and the man offers to help her. Eventually she finished secondary school, so she's eighteen. This guy takes him to Accra, right? Brings her to the yeah. capital. Yeah. Gets her a place and this man has been, you know, enjoying her since. Until you when know When you say enjoying her, Nana, you go with specific. She's been playing you? bedroom kung fu with the man. Ah, so she's been they've been going to um training. Well basically she's been exchanging, you know, um open gates, you know, favors. Open for I, I like that. <laughs> open gate. Open sesame. <laughs> <laughs> for for other things. And the point I'm trying to make it and look there was decorum. Like, even if the girl that was seen as the... The girl that was seen in the whole neighborhood as the... Um, what I think called? Uh, the, um, the everybody plate, right? Yeah. The, the community plate. Yeah. Even that girl wouldn't talk about her business like that. And they used to even get mad if you talk, if you refer to them as the community plate. Okay. But this girl go and sit on a TV show and says, you know, within the last year alone... Yeah. Over 24 guys. 
She slept with 24 guys in, in just a year. Under a year. Or, 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 I'll, I'll be generous. In a year. And she's not saying it with any... Oh, hold on, hold on. She slept with 24 guys in a year. Yeah. And she came on TV and happily said that. Yes. Happily. I want to know what kind of She happily it... said that while the man was, you know, keeping her in the house, because the man was married, right? So yeah. the man go, rented her a place, right? She was actually doing it with another boy. And the boy got her pregnant. And, and what? And she aborted the baby? No, 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 no. She had a child, you know. But and it, what did the man do? The man, the man wanted to... But she, like, her family wouldn't never be a second wife, anyway. That's why, you know. And the man is the one that's still helping her now. I don't understand. So the man knows that she slept with another man. Yeah, and because the kid is not his and all this kind of stuff. Look, the point, like, the, and the point, this girl is talking about, the, that's, the, that's why I don't understand. I'm not saying people don't do these things. But you know, like, there no, was this no, level people of, don't do that and then come on TV and talk and about And that's it. what I'm talking about. Yeah, and that, she's not that, the only one. That, that, that is uh, a bit of the unusualness. I and that's what I'm saying. talking about. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you don't say you sleep with 24 guys and then happily talk about or, it. Or you don't say why. I'm not I'm saying, I'm not saying, look, obviously, oh, Look, my opinion, that's bad, first of all. But let's take me out of the equation because my opinion don't count. <laughs> I'm not saying sleeping with 24 guys is a bad thing because definitely is bad. But for you to do that, like happily do that, that's fine. But for you to also happily talk about it, like... Yeah, and talk about that case no more. That's the point I'm trying And to how make. old is she? Okay, Tell me she's not 16, please. No, 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 no. She she's can't she's a bit older now, but okay. she's, I think, uh, maybe at most 28 now or so. 28? Oh, that's all right. She's an adult. No, 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 no. At now... We're talking about the man started this thing with her at 18, and that's how she's been trying to... Look, she's been... Yeah, but at what age did she start? Like, come on, like, if it, how old was this guy? She started out at 18. No, but at what age did she start, like, so... Sleeping with a guy? No, sleeping with 24 guys in less than a year. I probably been doing it since she was 18. If you if you do the math, she's 28, and say she started since she was 18, 24 guys in a look, year, I, let's, let's, times that by... Okay, by, I don't think... <laughs> by 10... <laughs> You know. That is a lot of guys. Of course it is. But I'm sure she's not sleeping with 24 guys every year. Well, I'm the sure way she, she's not no, no, doing look. that. I'm sure she's not she's doing provocative, that. She's provocative, right? That, that one she is. Yeah, everyone knows sex sells. So if she's pro, uh, provocative, mm -hmm. I got there in the end. If she's provocative, that means she knows the sells and she wants to sell it. So she's selling sex. She's selling the ambience of sex, at least. Or... Has he ever occurred to anyone that she could be lying, actually? Maybe she didn't sleep with 24 guys. Maybe no, she's saying that. No, because, no. because put it this way. Guys come and say that I've slept with 24 girls in yes, a year. And everyone look at that guy and go, you a liar. You're such a liar. You can't even sleep with one. My guy. But a girl comes out and says you sleep with 24 guys. And everyone happens to call her just whatever you yeah, think yeah, we should call her, yeah, which is an HOE. But do we happen to even ask that question? How, you, guy, how do you meet these guys? This girl claims, when she wanted to, she, she's acting now. Yeah. When she wanted to go into acting, man. Right? She, you know, she spread for one of the veterans to get her in. And she admits that. And she mentions the person's name. She's not going around. She's not beating around the bush. It's not like she came and said, oh, some, somebody slept with me and then they took me into acting. I slept with this person. and they took. So do you think they have evidence here? Yeah, that? but that, that's just that one person. No. And then when she got in, she mentioned another one. And these are all older men anyway. That's a girl. No? She looks pretty as well. Oh, come on. This girl. Wow. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> seriously. Like, uh, people, like, I really don't know what to say. Okay? Like, usually you hear these stories and you see, like, these girls are not usually that attractive, or if they're attractive, they're only attractive to the 24 men she slept with. Uh, <laughs> but uh, on this occasion, maybe it's just makeup. Yeah. Maybe it's just makeup. But and I'll show you the oh, man oh, that. Oh, look. Okay, she's not lying, people. She's definitely a 24 guys in all that year. Because any man would want to queue up to line up and get into that. And look at the man that she's able to get into the activity. Yeah, it's the money. <laughs> no, it's the, it's, yeah, it's the money. It's the fame. She wants. She wants the fame. So she's 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 basically doing that. Like it's, it is ridiculous. And look, this is the other money. Yeah. It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. And this is the other man that she slept with. And then she talks about how big the man is and everything. I'm like, well, hold on. She talks about our what now? How big the man's cassava is. Ah, so you know what cassava is now. You know <laughs> exactly what cassava is. That's what I said, you know, in Tanzania. Nah, nah, you are a farmer. Like <laughs> you are a farmer. I can see that. We, all, we are all farmers. <laughs> we farm well. <laughs> well. That's why I said that if, you know, 
that if, if um, Techno was trying to release that song in Tanzania, he would not be able to perform it again. Uh, listen, man, it's, it's just one of those things where if you're not a farmer, you don't understand. But clearly, I mean, look, this girl, what's this girl's name? Um, Rosamund Brown or something. Rosamund Brown. A.K.A. Equiapin Polo. I can't even pronounce that. But let's just go with Rosamund Brown. Rosamund. Why does that name sound like a man's name? Except for the first part. Rosemond. Yeah. Damien. <laughs> Rosemond. Okay, fine. Rosemond Brown. Why do you have to do this? We don't know why. But anyway, she 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 she's good enough for for any man to have as a wife. But I guess hearing this story, marrying her, at least you know what you're marrying, so you're not gonna complain anymore. But at the end of the day, Rosemond, you do you, isn't it? It's 2019. Yeah, but it's all about again, doing. Again, it's not just her. There's there's enough of these people. Yeah. Because you look at somebody like um, what's her name, like uh, Moisha. Yeah. Saying that oh, I'm sleeping with somebody's husband, and you know because of the economy in Ghana and all this. No, other but stuff. that's normal. That's no, no, normal. no. But you, I'm not talking. You can do that. I'm not saying you can't do that. Yeah. But why would you say it? <laughs> you don't need to tell the CNN that. No, but if she's doing it, like, yeah, but what about tell not, people? She's not ashamed of it, and that's what I'm talking about, and that's what I'm trying to say. She's not ashamed Look, of even, it. Even when you when you were a woman, like when I was growing up, right, yeah. even if you're a woman and you were with a man, you were even living with just one man, and the man was not married to you, your family members, there was something about it. Yeah, that, that was back then. <laughs> now, the stories so I'm just have saying changed. What happened? what happened is the stories have changed. Women now are more comfortable with their sexuality. They're more comfortable with themselves. They're more comfortable with the way people see them. And they, from what we see right now, we could, say, we could safely say, or I could safely say, that they don't really care what people think about them. Right. I can see that. Look at this. Right. So, and can you imagine, you know, and, <laughs> and that's Kwame Eugene anyway. I want to go to Ghana, people. I want to go to Ghana. And look what he's going to do. The guy's going get, to get up anyway. I want to go to Ghana. Look, and can you imagine if a guy was trying to do that to a girl? Sexual harassment. That's easy. what I'm saying. Sexual harassment, easy. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking at these people, and even I'm getting like, let's buy a ticket right now. <laughs> Seems like you don't have to do much to get those kind of stuff to happen to you. Well, if we, you just have to be available. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available. Yes. And then you also have to be a farmer. <laughs> If you don't understand what this is, I'm saying <laughs> it's not meant for you. <laughs> but if you do, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's buy a plane ticket. It looks like Ghana is where it's happening. <laughs> you know, 2019, hashtag Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just Ghana. It's the Kenyans are also like, you know. The Kenyans, the Ghanians. Hashtag and, the Ken the and the Kenyans ones, they're actually been bleaching as well anyway. Wow. They, they just, you know. Wow. Wow, it's, wow, 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 people. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but look, it? women, look, what one there's one positive thing out of all of this. Women are now proud to be themselves. No, it's They're now stupidity. more no it's that's far fetched. I don't, I don't that's far fetched. No, we can no, just no. call it that. That's far fetched. It is anyway. Like. It's not far fetched anyway. It's not it's not far fetched. What I'm trying to tell you is this yeah. If if you think about it, right? It's, it, you know when people some people think it's, it's, um, it's freedom like let's say you open the door for a woman right? yeah and then it's, some of them think it's insulting yeah because maybe you think you're a man and therefore you know meanwhile they forget that at, it's not insulting it's just you know being nice it's, it's just going oh for a woman. It's the same as you know when we are we are from Africa, right? When a woman cooks for you, when you don't you don't you don't you don't think she's your slave. You just, oh, uh, she cares enough for me that yeah. she'll cook for me. Yeah, but not in today's world though. Like, like not in today's world. In today's what world, it's like you cook your own food yourself. Yeah, that's what, that's what I said. Still, yeah. so when she cooks for yeah. you, yeah, it's it, like you. Especially like, if she cooks, the, she knows like let's say she knows you like jollof rice or she knows you like eba or whatever it is. And then I'm, I'm not even talking about even if it's somebody that you just friends with. Yeah, I mean, and you, they just you, come you in and you cook for it. That's what I'm you, saying. You feel like, wow, she cares about me. You, you don't feel think like, she's a woman, I mean, and then I mean, she... in most cases we go, this is wifey. This is the one you take because, home to mom because she because she know. knows what it is. But then if you see the ones that are doing what we just saw right now, you go, you know what? You are good, but only to the bedroom. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, only for the bedroom. Outside mm-hmm. the bedroom, I'll take it to mama. You know, we say we need a freak in the bed. That's what you are. Mm-hmm. We don't play like that. Yeah, we don't. No, nah, we don't roll like that. Like at the end of the day, this, 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 I mean, look, women are women, men are men. Look, all I'm saying is, so women will do what women do, and they just embracing that sexuality. I think. No, but look, they, they're that, embracing that, it. That's what the so-called porn stars claim. And then after a while, you realize that they're on drugs, and you're talking about how they were being exploited. Meanwhile, what they're doing porn and all the interviews you saw with them. Yeah. They're all talking about how, oh, no, no, I'm taking charge of my own sexuality. And look. Yeah, but you might be on drugs, but you're still taking charge of your sexuality. No, but when they come out, then they talk about how these men were exploiting them. And that's the point I'm trying to make. No, nah, this video of Vixen have not been exploited. No, no. Okay, they might be exploited no, no, saying, in terms of maybe they're getting paid, like, crappy money. Because we don't know how much a no, video well, Vixen no, the makes. The Kenyan ones make a lot of money anyway. The Kenyan ones. I, mean, cost, I don't know about the Ghanaian it ones. It must cost to look that good. Oh, it. Uh, it must cost to look that good. Like, I maintain it. You, I guy, mean, come some, on. But, but think about it. Some of them are having to bleach their own skin. So, of course, you know. And so, and you have to buy the clothes, the Brazilian weave. I mean, I don't agree know. with the bleaching thing, to be honest with you. Like, that's just something that I don't subscribe to. Because why wouldn't it? I mean, if you're comfortable with your own, you should be comfortable with your own skin. But if you do want to bleach, bleach again, that's, that's my own, this is my own personal opinion. So, you could just leave that out the window and then say, look, that's, your, that's what you think. Because... I want to bleach and I know the reason why I'm bleaching so I really don't care what you think. And then fair dues because you're an adult you should make your own decision which you are making which is fine. So if you really want to bleach and you really want to be a video vixen uh, it won't stop me from looking. Okay? Like I would look you know because I mean women have been known to become to become very rich and to become very famous by just being a video vixen. Women women have been known to do that. But then when you say we run the world just understand, if you're a video vixen, I don't think it's women. No. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yes. If, you, if you say you run the world, then you're a video vixen. Uh, okay. All right. You don't run the world. Well, but then again, you could probably run the world if you're a video vixen, if you charging and doing exactly, if you're telling people to do exactly what you want before you come on that video and they're doing, they're giving you exactly everything you want, then yeah, you're the boss lady. You, you Yeah. So you run the world. You run your own world. At the end of the day, Nana, all we're saying here or at least all I'm saying is that Afrobeat is becoming big and when people are shooting videos they need most uh way to well you don't even have to be creative but they need ways to to make their videos more interesting and one of those ways to do that is sex sells so they get these women to do whatever it is that they need to do oh, so well, one yeah. of the models in Kenya or well they they all want to call themselves video vixen they call themselves video models or whatever you know she's saying they should have a video vixen in school okay I think that's pushing it like that's literally pushing it. What are, what are you going to teach in the, in the school? How to twerk? <laughs> well, how to manage your money for starters. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, I see that. But you don't have to go. It's called business school. It's not video vixen school. It's called business school. You don't. It doesn't matter what business you're in. You still need to know how to manage money. So you don't have to have a vixen a video vixen school to be able to know how to manage money. They, there's already a program for that. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. I mean, if you have a video vixen school, that means you just want to twerk. That's all you want to do. You don't want to do anything else outside that. So I don't really understand what it is. I don't know what look, we want to do with that. All, all I'm trying to say is this here. This, look, at least in Kenya, there's money to be made in there. Right. So whatever. But all I'm trying to say is the, the, our dignity. We used to have that. You know, people want it. And it, see, like, you, again, I'm going to bring it back to the Ghanaian girl anyway. If you went to school, there was this pride about going to school and trying to be better than certain things, right? Okay. Yeah. So you've been to the school, you okay. found a job. Yeah. And okay, you might not like the job, I get that. You can go maybe with shuffle, find something else to do. Yeah. But just to walk up. And it's not even like, you know, you know how to dance. You know, like some people are dancers, right? Yeah. Some people are, I don't know, DJs. Some people are. Um, actors and then whatever it is and they want to maybe use their mu- music video as a way to you know display what, they, what they're good at yeah all she has is a big bum and she want to just be in sax video with a yeah. big bum yeah how's that life and how's that what, what kind of contribution to <laughs> like I don't even know of course no, you do it's ridiculous you just don't want to admit it she got a gift from her mom and she want to share with the rest of the world What's the problem? 
it's a perfect situation here. Okay? Like, I don't see any issue with that. Okay? Now, it just so happened that that gift, only a few people want it. Okay? For example, Sack is not looking at that direction at the moment. That's why I dream is to be in Sack's video because she want to share a gift with him and he's not willing to even think about or even know anything about that gift. So, we here at Wala and being on the Wala podcast, Sack, there's a lady. Okay? You will see her pretty I soon. To, I tried to help her we out. We will though. get her to you. Okay? <laughs> She should connect with you, all right? Zach, we know your team. Don't talk to us that much. We don't even know your team at all for now. But at the end of the and, day... And then, that one thing that she was also saying is a lot of them wants to smash before, you know. Yeah. I mean, if that's all you showcase, eh? that's all <laughs> they can see, and most of them are into things like that, you would at least say you can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> Just because I tried doesn't mean you're going to let me in. But at least if I don't try, I'm not going to know if you're going to let me in. So a lot of them would want to smash. Of course. Of course they would want to smash. Because at the end of the day, this is called African ebony beauty. All right? I mean, a lot of lactose is there. Not, not, not botox, but still. like It looks like... Cellulite, not lactose. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Cellulite. Cell cellulite. What's, what's the difference between... Lactose is something else. Like what? Like what's lactose? Lactose is like, you know, it's a chemical anyway. That at times these people will be like, I know I'm lactose intolerant. Oh yeah, like the, the milk thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's not what I'm talking about. This is a uh, cellulite. Cellulite is like the, the cell that has light. <laughs> this is what this lady has. Did you see that? And, <laughs> and it's how these girls wanna do. You're actually in a you know, you just because you got the big boobs eh? you wanna bounce it up. <laughs> well, I mean and, and, and this is the one the girl with the biggest boobs anyway. Look, to put no, to put it straight, right? There's a business for this stuff. There's, of course, there's, there's a business for, for it. And nobody's saying there's no market for there, it. There's market for but, it. But so. I'm trying to I'm just surprised that now Why are you surprised? These girls don't have any shame. They don't have it's any... not about being shameful, it's about making money out here. Like what it's are you so, being shameful and, for? And that's what I'm saying. And that's you what I'm use what God gives you to get to get what you want. Like, okay, in this case your mom means, gives if you. That means, you know, being over sexualized. What? You don't care. That is very, very subjective. Okay? When you say over-sexualized... So you don't think, you know, being in a as long as people are, if you have the... If you have as long as people are having hold sex on, on hold TV... Hold on, hold on. Come on. You are, you are a girl... Yeah. ...with probably the biggest boobs in the whole of Ghana. Yeah. And look at her frame, anyway. She has the smallest frame of all time. Yeah. She's and a cute... Good, she's a and cute then looking girl, too. you're on video... Yeah. ...going up and down, and it just, you know... Yeah. 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 Uh, look, if 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 you don't know what I'm trying to say here, look, think think more about Fefe and Fe, right? Uh, the video. Uh, that's the younger people. The younger people who know what you're talking about. What? Yeah, Twenty Tatula and um, um, Tic Tac from Ghana. Yeah, those are legends. Okay, they don't. The younger people still won't know what you're talking about. What are you about? If you don't know this, then you don't even know Afro beats. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't know where Afro beats started from. <laughs> It doesn't mean you don't know Afrobeat. <laughs> no, you don't. But if, if you're here, here, just talking about techno and you don't know, you know, the, your Tic Tacs and you don't know, you know, your 20 tattoos. Yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know. That's I, how people, Nana is old know. people. Nana is old. That's, <laughs> how, that's how you know old people still want to be remain, they want to remain relevant. <laughs> <laughs> they still want to be remaining, like they know yeah. the lingo the, on the street. Nah, they dangle, they won't <laughs> put to go. me for trouble. Look, look, look. And this Bobby is dangling. That's what I'm saying. Video vixen girls, all right? are going to be as much no, a no. part of the industry no, I'm not saying, as see, the industry exists. The, the, so but, 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 saying that... You, you would admit that those days of Superhead is not in hip-hop anymore. Those days that they did video Superhead is not a video vixen. <laughs> Superhead is a hip-hop hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Two different things. <laughs> Maybe. Look, Two different things. I mean, she, she, she did it so bad that... She even became rich of you by writing a book. Look. And the book is one of best... At that time, it was the bestseller. Okay? Because yes. everybody bought it just to see who she had sex with. <laughs> Look, all I'm trying to say is this. Uh, I mean, we, she cleaned house. She even had sex with Vin Diesel, she said. We don't, she cleaned house. We don't, we don't need... Allegedly. I don't know Look, if that's true. We don't need to take the receding in you know, our cultures of a music journal I don't think we are. Thing. We are doing I, I don't think we are. I, don't, Look, I absolutely don't Look, think I've we seen, are. I've seen Alpha Beats here. That the, the the video has nothing to do with the song. They just put these pretty girls in there and they're just showing themselves up. That's it. It has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that's the creativity of the video. Yeah. Right. Jesus, no, no, I don't know what I, you want me to tell I, you. I don't know what this what guy's you, what, about, what, what, what do you want me to tell you? What, you, want I, me to, I, you want me to tell you that 
uh, video evictions is, is bad. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something, Anna. Well, sex sells, okay? In case you never know, I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm, this is, this is um, uh, free, free advice. Beats, <laughs> education 101. <laughs> Let's just put any pretty girl in there. Let, no, let no, no, half no, naked. no, 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 no. It doesn't matter. See, see, don't worry about the see, beat. No, don't worry about no, telling a, no, a nice no, story no. with your visual effects. No, 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 no. no, no don't worry course. about that. No, 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 just, no. Just, just get you somebody with a bum. Understand and somebody this. with a boobs. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then let them show it off in there. No. Yes, yes, yes. They're going to show it off, but they're going to do all of that, all the other stuff you said as well, which is they're going to worry about the creativity. They're going to worry about lighting. They're going to worry about the cars. They're going to worry about this. They're going to worry about that. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, let's be honest, we all know what it is that people are buying. People are buying, uh, you know, <laughs> they're buying, they try to get some music. When I listen to Davido, I'm trying to hear some music. Yeah, that, but, but Davido, the, yeah, but Davido doesn't really of sexualize course, that's what I'm stuff, saying. Davido doesn't really sexualize you know, stuff. If I'm listening to techno, I'm trying to hear some music. So does techno, techno, techno doesn't Google, really I want to hear music. I don't want to see some girl with a ridiculous bum roaming about. <laughs> No, no, if there I'm is, listening there to SAG, is, I want to hear music. SAG doesn't sexualize the stuff either. So, so uh, they're, they're, look, there's enough for every interest in the industry, all right? They, all these video fictions are not, in, even some of them, they go naked in one video. Well, not <laughs> naked, you know what I mean. And then in another video, they, they play like a really, really housewife all clothed up. They do that. It's what is required they do because at the end of the day they want to get that paper just like the artist wants to get a paper just like anybody else want to get a paper they want to get the paper so by, by hook or crook eh? it's uh, yes okay if you want me to say that yes <laughs> but it's not exactly like that it's not by hook or crook because these people look look before women have been sexualized right they, they sexualize themselves they're comfortable with their body but they weren't making money they went now at least if they do it they can make money on it uh, they can make money on it. That's just, I mean, come on. You you have to at least understand the fact that most of these women, all right, they first of all very comfortable with their body because now they they, they I mean they, they they're proud of what they are. But but hey, look, let me tell you what where my worry is, and this is my biggest worry. Okay, go ahead. Tell me what your worry these is. These same girls, right? At some point to go, don't judge me based on that. When they come, when they meet a guy and the guy's not, the guy's ready to maybe smash and bounce, right? <laughs> Don't judge me based on that. Yeah. Uh, well, that's where um, uh, that's where I'll carry your catalog, <laughs> and I'll ask you um, what part of that do you don't want me to judge? <laughs> because, because think the reason I'm saying that. Right? Yeah. We Africans. Okay. There's something that we are very very proud of, especially for our men. Yeah. It's the kind of woman that you call a wife. I think any man, no, most I'm, men, I'm, I'm, I'm will be. <laughs> They, they will subscribe to that statement you just made. I'm just saying, like I, I can't speak for most men, but I'm just saying for most Africans. Okay, you know, cool. You know, they, they we have that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if your wife is the same woman that once upon a time was on a TV show, saying in a year I did, did twenty-four men. Did you know men. or did you not know? Well, it's on TV show. You don't even need to know. Your boys will pull it out for you. Yeah. So <laughs> look, 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 look. Put it this way. In today's world, right? If you know about. A particular lady, a woman that's doing that's done some stuff that you don't exactly subscribe to, and you still went ahead and date her and even no, put her in the home as a wife. No, no, then no, 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 what's you see, the problem? What, you don't problem. have a problem. No, no, no. I'm trying to tell you something. The problem is where she denies no, 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 no. it. I'm trying to tell you something because yeah. these men don't want to put them in a home. So you date them for a while because, as you said, like when I showed you a crappy polo, she looks nice. Yeah. She's a pretty girl. So, of course, we'll do pretty things with you. Yeah, but then but I'm putting it in a house, and that's course. the point I'm trying. And then she get mad. When you, but then and then when you pull no, her, no, no, she, she, she gets mad. That's yeah. when you give her a therapist number, and you say go out there, <laughs> sit on the couch, let her, let let her, let the therapist ask you how you doing today. Now tell me how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how you feel because everything you do has a consequence. Okay, and this the, is the consequence of that. Now you. You would have to. It's like it's like kissing a frog to find your prince, right? You would have, if you could go through twenty four guys. You would have to go through twenty four more, fifty more before you find out one that says I'm ready to put you in the house. That's if you want to get married. But don't go through those twenty four others and expect them, none of them, and expect one of them or all of them to go. I want to put a ring on it. You need to do a lot more than that, darling. <laughs> and then if you if none of them say they want to put a ring on it, and you now feeling like what is wrong with these people? Uh, <laughs> Do you want me? Where, where, where do you want me to start from? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Where, where, where do you want me to start from? That's that's Again, basically what, that's I, what, what I'll and, tell you. And that's the point I'm trying to make. And these men will pull your stats. They'll be like, have, "Have you seen this? I can wipe this. I can sleep with this, but I can wipe this." <laughs> do you know why? 
Because sleeping is private. No one knows, right? Wifing is now acknowledgement. <laughs> you that, put a stamp on it. That, that this is my woman. <laughs> my, my woman. <laughs> you my <laughs> everything. <laughs> Nah. Well, but you you slept with twenty four guys. <laughs> you could be my woman, but you are not my everything. <laughs> because all the other guys they've done their stuff. Do you know what I mean? So it's, you know, and, and it, it, it's double standard. Of course it is because men 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 does the same no, thing. It's not double standard. It a lot, is double look, standard. no, a lot of women won't do. Look, any decent woman, yeah, yeah. any decent woman is not gonna be out there with a man that's seen to have gone around. Let's be honest, anyway. Ah, uh, let's be honest. No, they might sleep with you. Let's no, but let, they're not gonna husband you. Ah, uh, trust nah, me. If, I don't if, know what planet you live on, okay. especially African. If you no. talk about our continent, Africa, especially African men. No, it's not, I no, do not see, know no, what no, planet no, you live on, no, no, because. African men go okay. about no. sleeping around and then pick no. a virgin for a wife no. and put them they in the pick house. A virgin because that virgin either don't know or it's rude. Oh, the virgin knows. No. Because if you go to that house, that's what I'm saying. Unless she you know she doesn't come from a good family. If you walked into that house and that father knows your business. No, no, no. we're not talking about the other counterparts in the family. We're talking about the person themselves. Because it's no, because no, 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 if you let me, let me, if you want to marry a girl, all right, and you're very, a girl. You know no, that if you want to marry a decent girl and the the family of that girl knows your history. Of course, they you're will not have going anywhere. No, yes, you're not going anywhere. I understand that. I agree with you on that. But I'm saying to you, if you want to marry this girl and this girl know about your history, she there, there's a high chance she will still marry you. That's women no, for you. No, Men I, are different. Well, Men I, I are visual. Know. Women have a voice or it, like they, they they like their feelings that they like men to okay. express their feelings. Why men are like, I saw you, you said it, you slept with 24 guys. Uh, I'm not. I can be the 25th one. I don't mind that. <laughs> but put you in my house <laughs> to be my one and only woman as my wife? <laughs> Darling, I think we just move this along, okay? Because this is not the story we'll be telling our grandkids. And saying, yeah, you know, when your mother was young, I, I, I was the 25th guy she slept with. Well, she, We did it so good, and I just thought I should put a ring on it. You wouldn't even need to tell them. Don't go to YouTube or whatever version of YouTube <laughs> exists at that point. <laughs> Oh, no, this is bad. And dig it out. <laughs> this is bad. But yeah, I mean, video fictions and all that, it's fine. It's not a big deal. All I'm saying is, a lot of these people, they want to be famous for no reason, and they don't know what they're getting themselves into. And if a lot of them even come back to buy them in the bum anyway, they do all this outrageous stuff, they put all their business out there, they do all this craziness, Yeah. and later on, they want people to either have, you know, or they want some men to commit to them that way. And a lot of men don't want to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of men do not want to walk that kind of road. But I agree with you. I you think know. a lot of men wouldn't. So, so what and, I'm saying is, don't there, be mad. There's some men. Don't there's be some. mad. I mean, when, men have been known to marry prostitutes. Of course. Men have been but, known but, to do a lot of stuff. There's some men that would do that. They're few. As you said, some. They're very few. So what I'm saying is, remember that you, you're decreasing your pool. On first instance, there's more women than men. Now that's called having fun. Okay, like huh? these women are having fun and enjoying themselves. This and this has got nothing to do with video vixens. This is literally just women in general. Some women nowadays are very comfortable with themselves, no, they're very I'm comfortable saying, with their sexuality. I'm not, I'm not so they you, do whatever they want. And that's course, fine. As I said, you could have slept with a twenty four, it's not written on your forehead. Yeah. Nobody would have known. You could have gone about your business. <laughs> Right? When I when other guy asks you, I've slept with only three guys, and that would have been fine. I know, that's what they say. I asked the woman how long how many uh, yeah. men she slept with. Three guys. The number is always one or three. Yeah. Never more than that. Of course. And he can think whatever he thinks, but it's, there's no way you can go confirm it. Do you understand the difference about yeah. what I'm trying to tell you? That if you put it on record and you start mentioning names and about who you slept with and where they live and all these other businesses, then it becomes a problem. It's not a problem if you don't see it as one. Yeah, if you course. if you that say you don't see as one and that's your problem, it's not a problem, is it? It's just it, it's just one of the things you. It's do. like there's a girl Rashida Black Beauty from Ghana. Yeah. This girl made a YouTube video about the boyfriend because the point boyfriend got a new girlfriend or whatever it was, and then she's insulting the guy, saying that he even taught the guy how to you know do the bedroom kung fu. Even the guy don't know how. Like, even if go buy boxes for the guy and all this nonsense, right? And she became famous for that because she couldn't say the um, MF word properly. And instead of saying the proper way of saying MF, she said malafaka. <laughs> so it became a thing. I mean, some guy even made a song with it. She won an award for, you know, whatever it is. And so that's what you get to win an award nowadays. Like, all you have to do is this your boyfriend and not say the M word properly, MF word properly, and then you get an award. Hey. And then she thought she was on top of the, of the food chain. Fast forward a year later, the same idiot that she was insulting 
got her pregnant, not even be responsible enough, and now she's saying that somebody's soliciting money for her. I understand the story. <laughs> I get what you're saying. But in all honesty, people, I mean... If you know what you're getting yourself into, let's understand this for a second. Look, here at Wala, I, Mr. Nobody, thinks like, yeah, there's some things that are just precious that shouldn't be done. For example, a man, most men won't put a woman at home as a wife that is done most of this stuff. Some men would. There's a lot. There's a lot of men, you know, not a lot in terms of. If you do the ratio of who would and who wouldn't, it's also a lot of men. I'll put them in the house, but not a lot of men, and especially in Africa, anyways. But things are changing. With the advantage is women are more comfortable with their sexuality, they're more comfortable with their body, so they're coming out doing all these things. But it's a consequence for everything, and the consequence is, you know, the way like they say in Africa, the, 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 the famous statement: the way you lay the, the way you lay your bed is the way you lie in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you're gonna be laying your bed like this, sleeping with twenty four men and coming out on TV and saying it, well, you lay in your bed, darling. So don't cry when you lie in that bed and all of a sudden you wake up with a hangover. <laughs> back pains and Back stuff. pains and all that. Don't cry. Don't do all of that stuff. But anyways, let us know what you think. Wherever you're listening to this, it's been great. It's been fun. This is the first episode in and our New second year. season. And yes, like Nana just said, Happy New Year and come back. If you don't like what you're saying, put it down there. Say you don't <laughs> like it. We would look at it and please you know the, the, do, don't forget to rate the podcast and you know do share with your friends yeah and you know that will help us you know quite a lot all right people Peace. up until next time thank you very much this is the wild boys this is mr nobody and nana we're signing off uh next time bye-bye bye